Welcome to Unit 1 of this course. In this unit, we shall be looking at open licensing with emphasis on Creative Commons licensing. But firstly, what are open licensing? A license is a document that specifies what can and cannot be done with a work, whether sound, text, image or multimedia. It grants permission and states restrictions. An open license is one which grants permission to access, reuse and redistribute a work with few or no restrictions. Open licenses are sets of conditions applied to an original work that grant permissions for anyone to make use of that work as long as they follow the condition of the licensee. Open license or free license can also be defined as a license agreement which contains provisions that allow other individuals to reuse another creator's work, giving them four major freedoms. Without a special license, the user is normally prohibited by copyright law or commercial license. For example, a piece of writing on a website made available under an open license would be free for anyone to do one, print or share, publish on another website or, or in print, make alterations or additions, incorporate in part or in whole into another piece of writing, use as the basis for a work in another medium such as audio recording or in a film and do many other things. Open licenses therefore give permission to anyone to use the work at any cost and generally allow anyone to modify the work with no or minimal restriction such as acknowledging the original author's work. Now, let's take a look of types of open licensing. Open Source Initiative The Open Source Initiative OSI is an organization that keeps a list of open source licenses while Free Software Foundation FSF maintains a list of what is considered free. However, both the OSI and FSF together are called false licenses. That's F O S S. The free and open source software, which is also known as FOSS. Free and open source software is a software that can be classified as both free software and open source software. That is, anyone is freely licensed to use, copy, study, and change the software in any way and the source code is openly shared so that people can encourage to voluntarily improve the design of the software. This is in contrast with proprietary software where the software is under restrictive copyright licensing and the source code is usually hidden from the users. Benefits of FOSS can include decreased software costs, increased security and stability, protecting privacy, education, and finally, and giving users more control over their own hardware. For example, operating systems like Linux and BDS. There are several open licenses that follow these principles. Among the most common are Creative Commons licenses for written works, music, visual, and other artistic expressions. And GNU General Public License for software. But for the purpose of this course, we will be discussing Creative Commons licensing. A Creative Commons license is one of the several public copyright licenses that enable the free distribution of an otherwise copyrighted work. A Creative Commons license is used when a creator wants others to share, use, and build upon the work that has been created by the creator. Creative Commons provides an author flexibility. For example, they might choose to allow only non-commercial uses of a work and protect the people who use or redistribute an author's work from concerns of copyright infringement as long as they abide by the conditions that are specified in the license by which the author distributes the work. 
There are several types of Creative Commons license. Each license differs from several combinations that condition the terms of distribution. They were initially released on December 16, 2002 by Creative Commons, a US non-profit corporation founded in 2001. There have also been five versions of the suit of licenses, numbered 1.0 through 4.0, released in November 2013. The 4.0 license suit is the most current. Now, let's take a look at the four rights of Creative Commons. The Creative Commons license grants baseline rights, such as right to distribute the copyrighted work worldwide for non-commercial purposes and without modifications. In addition, different versions of license prescribe different rights, as shown on your screen. Having gone through your screen to see the four rights of Creative Commons license, now let's look at the combinations of these rights and how they form the Creative Commons licenses. The Creative Commons license. There are six different license types listed from most to least permissive here. CC BY. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format so long as attribution is given to the creator. The license allows for commercial use. CC BY includes the following elements. That's the BY element. Credit must be given to the creator. The second one is CC BY SA. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format so long as attribution is given to the creator. The license allows for commercial use. If you remix, adapt or build upon the material, you must license the modified material under identical terms. CC by SA includes the following element. The buy element. Credit must be given to the creator. Why the share alike? Adaptation must be shared under the same terms. The third license is CC by NC. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon material in any medium or format for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. It includes the following elements. The buy, which is credit must be given to the creator, and C, only non-commercial uses of the work are permitted. The fourth one, CC by NCSA. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. If you remix, adapt, or build upon the material, you must license the modified material under identical terms. CC by NCSA includes the following elements. The buy, which is credits must be given to the creator. NC, only non-commercial uses of the work are permitted. And SA, adaptation must be shared under the same terms. The fifth one, CC by ND. This license allows users to copy and redistribute the material in any medium or format in unadapted form only and only so long as attribution is given to the creator this license allows for commercial use cc by nd includes the following elements the buy which is credit must be given to the creator nd non-derivatives or adaptation of the work are permitted the sixth one cc by ncnd this license allows reuser to copy, 
and distributes the material in any medium or format in an unadaptable form only, for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. The CC by NCND includes the following elements. By credit must be given to the creator. NC, only non-commercial uses of the work are permitted. ND, no derivative or adaptation of the work are permitted. The Creative Commons Public Domain Dedication, CC0, is a public dedication tool which allows creators to give up their copyright and put their work into the worldwide public domain. CC0 allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format with no conditions. Seven regular used licenses. The seven licenses in most frequently used are shown in the following table on your screen. Among them, those accepted by Wikimedia Foundation, the public domain dedication, and two attributions, buy and buy essay licenses. Allow the sharing and remixing, which is creating derivative works, including for commercial use, so long as attribution is given. I hope you've enjoyed this unit. Please feel free to visit the Creative Commons website to learn more about these various licenses. Thank you and see you soon.